All right, this segment is brought to you by BubbleFast.com. And I tell you guys week after week how much I love BubbleFast. And they just put up the cutest little little advertisement over on Facebook with the baby face. I think that's probably a, a member of their family. Um, but really adorable, playing with one of the little stress balls that they were handing out at the eBay radio party. Um, they had them in, of course, primary colors, blue, green, yellow, and what am I missing? Blue, oh, red. <laughs> red, blue, yeah, okay. I got the colors right of my shirt, and I had to think about that one. Whew. Okay. Bubble fast, you guys. I've said it. I've said it over and over. Quality, 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 quality. Um, yes, sometimes it's a little more expensive than the competitor. And, I, you know, I see these posts on Facebook and I just kind of giggle. And those of you who use Bubble Press products absolutely know that you can get stuff a little cheaper here and there. But in the long run, you're going to use more and you're going to have customer service issues along the way. I, the only people I want to deal with are Mark and Robin Levine from Bubble Fast because there are no problems when you deal with Mark and Robin. So you go to the website, bubblefast.com, use the code DANNY, and you get an extra discount, which is really awesome. And, of course, save up your bubble bucks, and then you get even more discounts. So they reward loyalty, absolutely. And they have a Facebook group. You guys have lots of shipping questions? Go to their Facebook group, Shipping Tips and Tricks. Ask all your shipping questions there. Grooviness. Okay, now it's time for Score of the Week. And we run this thread over on the Facebook group every Sunday. My favorite, favorite, favorite day of the week. Love Sundays. Love Score Sundays. Thank you all for being so willing to share your scores. Uh, because now that we can't see what the best offer information is and all that, you sharing and letting us know what things actually sold for is really, really helpful. Uh, there's a lot of people over on the Facebook group just getting started or needing to go into something a little different. Uh, but hey, check out that thread. Week after week after week after week, you get ideas. Just get ideas. Make your list. Make your list of things that sell. And then when you're out there, you won't pass those things by. It's a cool thing. All right, our first score comes from our very own Deborah Conrad. So Deborah, I didn't realize how small this item was. This is very interesting. Uh, this is item number 19086638 And I'm so thrilled that Deborah's got a score in the score of the week because she dragged her heels in getting going on eBay again after taking a big long hiatus. And most of you guys know her as the thrifting for profit gal um, who's mainly Amazon FBA. So she's doing her eBay thing now. And she had a pretty big score with this item that she picked up for a whopping $3 at a thrift store. Where else? Um, yeah, you guys see that? Ooh. It's a, okay, you're going to make me speak Japanese here, Hakumaki Japanese woodblock print. It is signed, and it's number 60 out of 200, and she sold it for $189.95. $189.95 out of a $3 purchase. Yee-haw. Um, nice. So, and Deborah's in our chat, so she can tell you guys what made her pick this up. But if you look, this is a teeny tiny little guy, and I'm looking at it sometimes. It's eight and a half by eight and a half, and I'm guessing that's the total dimension because the actual print size is two inches square. Two inches square. Um, these are also known as ACEOs. My mom actually paints some of these. Yeah, ACEOs. Um, highly collectible, all on their own. But Here's a little hint. When you guys see prints, prints will be the ones that you're going to see numbered. Painting, usually never numbered. Um, so when you see the pencil signature and a number, that's usually a print. And the lower the bottom number, the better. Like this is 60 out of 200. 
that's really good. When there's less than 250 of these printed up, that's going to be more valuable than, let's say, if it was 2,000 of these printed up. So always watch the lower the number, the better. And the lower the top number, the more likely a collector is going to want that item as well because the print quality is better with the first few of a series. So you have number one of 100, you got something. Okay? So great score. Absolutely great score. Yay, Deborah! All right, our next one, Sarah, I hope I'm saying this last name right, Ferret. Uh, she bought this MP3 player at a thrift store for $4 on, oh, on Friday. It sold within 30 minutes. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Item number 25130416. Zero six two zero. Wow, this looks like a little teeny thing too. <laughs> see, I totally, I would walk right by that. And do you see what she got for it? She got a hundred bucks, hundred dollars on a four dollar purchase. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and I really, really love, really, 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 really love that Sarah put a picture of the item working, turned on working. That is a great selling point when you're doing anything with an electronic. Make sure you take a picture of it working. Um, and the only thing I would say is, Sarah, just a, a little something you might want to be aware of is get those pictures up in eBay's gallery area as well. Okay if you want to put them down in your description, but remember mobile shoppers would have to click something completely off their screen to go see extra pictures so they could make their buying decision based on just those gallery pictures. So really important to have those. Nice job, though. Love turning $4 into $100 in 30 minutes. How cool is that? All right. Our next one, Howard. Howard, you're on a roll. Howard had a score last week, too. So, uh, and he like, I, I include Howard's here because, you know, guy stuff. You know, I, I walk right by guy stuff, but hey, maybe you guys wouldn't. So he got two money counting machines at a college surplus sale. Oh, he spent a lot on these. He spent a ton, like a dollar a piece. Uh, so he sold the other one last month for $150. And this one sold for $159. This is item number 13094318-3364. Oh, very nice. The buyer lives in Africa and paid shipping of $135. Wowza. Wowza. Uh, so, of course, that nicely covered the insurance. He had to get to ship it there. Bravo for you for being brave enough to offer this international. Way to go, Howard. Um, yeah, see, now I, I veer away from electronics and, and guy stuff, but, I mean, what did he make? Let's say, don't make me do math, like $309 on a $2 purchase? <laughs> I mean, really, that's, that's incredible. Nice job, Howard. Very nice. I'm so glad to see you getting these scores. That is just awesome. Okay, now we got another really good profit margin piece here from Sherry Smith. Sherry's on a roll too, and Sherry has a score or two or three every single week. Sherry, we got to have you on the show one week. I'm thinking. I'm just thinking. All right, so she got these six Dresden soup bowls with handles at an auction for $15. And it's item number 14101242-5804. And this piece sold, oh my goodness. So she had it listed for $299.95, and it sold for $255. $255. There's six of them that she sold for $255. Wow. Wow. So Dresden, really, really good brand. Let's see if she's got a picture of the mark. I'm sure she does. I'm 
sure there's a picture of the mark. Yeah, so if you guys zero in, take a look at that mark for Dresden. And in fact, I have a piece tonight that, that ties in with this. So take note of that mark, because we're going to talk about that mark and similar marks a little bit later in, in the show. Um, but Dresden, Dresden, really, really good stuff. Dresden makes china. Dresden makes figurines. So memorize that mark, Dresden. Very good. Very good. Okay. Denise Morrison Mealy bought a set of fine china at an antique auction in a lot for $40. So there, there was 10 pieces. And this happens all the time at auctions. They sell complete sets. Complete sets. Uh, she got these for $40 for 10 pieces. That's 4 bucks each. Make sure you guys do the math when you're figuring out to buy lots of stuff. Um, she sold two pieces already. One, well, let me, give you the, let me give you one of the item numbers. 1610-6510-5205. Here's the first piece. Uh, which is a, and this is um, John Alcock Vincennes, Vincennes, I don't know how you say that, but that's how you spell it. <laughs> it's a brown or mulberry transferware. Transferware is really, really collectible, guys. Um, brown or, or mulberry, which has a purplish hue, is one of the most sought after. Black is another one, and then there's red and blue. Uh, blue is probably the most, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's the most of it out there. I just hate that when you want to say a word and it just doesn't come to you. Prevalent, common, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Beth. Uh, that's what you're going to find a lot of is blue transferware. So when you find these more unusual colors, really give them a second look because uh, this stuff uh, is really highly collectible. Um, the other piece is 1610-6373-5075. And this one is a Royal Staffordshire. And this one looks to have multiple colors in it, which is also, um, although I'm not seeing the multiple colors here. What am I missing? I see in her title it says blue, green, and gold. Maybe that is about the mark. I don't know. What's, what's that about? Sherry's with us, I think. Um, maybe she can tell us. Because I'm not seeing blue, green, and gold. Unless it's really, really... You guys see it? Maybe a little gold? I don't know. Um, anyway, so, yeah, but that's another thing. When there's multiple colors, that's another good seller. So these two pieces, she sold the first one for $149.99. And she sold the second one for $120. That is, I'm doing math, $270 already. So she's already long made her $40 bucks back, and she still has eight pieces left to sell. Eight pieces left to sell. She's long made her money back. And, I mean, $230 in profits already. That's huge. That's huge. Um, I love auctions. I love auction lots. You guys know that. So. Um, that's definitely, definitely a, a way to make a lot of money. Yep. Yep. And you can see she used a she used a Diet Pepsi can there to show the size. So people didn't think it was a little tiny thing. Um, usually they tell me if they're international. I don't think this went. Oh, no, no, no. One of these was international. Absolutely. Uh, da -da -da -da. Both of them. Yep. These went international. So they paid their shipping on top of that. Yay! Yes! You guys, international, it's huge, and it is their buying season. Big buying season international. Sherry, where did that go internationally? What country? What country is buying up uh, transferware antiques? It'd be good to know. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's their winter. They're cozied up inside. Sherry, what country did that go to? Maybe she'll tell us in the chat. All right, we're going to move right along. Oh, I'm sorry. This was not Sherry's. This was, I'm, see, I'm confused. I'm, like, reading too many things at once. So Sherry's Dresden soup bowls that we talked about just previous, 
those also went international. This is Denise Morrison Neely, who I don't know if she's with us in the chat tonight, but hers also went. So Sherry's went to South Korea. Very interesting. Yep, cool stuff. But Denise is over on the Facebook group, so if you guys want to ask her where those went to, I'm sure she'd love to answer. All right, Tammy Swafford bought a charmed board game at a yard sale. And that is item number 18116605 And it's a used game. Used. This is not a new packaged item. And she bought it for a whole whopping $1. $1, and it's sold for $99.95, and it's going to Canada, so they're paying shipping too. Boy, I, I'm telling you, international, you guys, international, international is huge, it's huge, um, yeah, very, very nice. I have to admit that I don't pick up used board games, I don't, uh, my daughter put a couple of them in my cart the last time we were shopping, because they were cool games. So I thought, okay, what the heck, I'll do them, but I haven't looked at them yet. I don't know, they're just, they're, they're not really my thing. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, look for the unusual stuff, stuff you don't see every day. And I know, um, you know, Deborah talks about this kind of stuff for FBA, too. You can sell these collectible games over on Amazon as well. Yeah. Yep. I, international, I mean, if you, is anybody in my chat room not shipping international? Anybody, anybody want to put your hand up? You guys can't see my hand. I'm raising my hand. Here, I'll put this hand up. <laughs> we got to get you shipping international. If if you are not comfortable with it, with it, we got to get you comfortable. We have to help you figure out how to do that because oh my gosh, your sales are gonna like boom. International is huge. It's huge. All right. Who let them cows out? Moo, 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 moo. 